as of yesterday, we have hit 751 unmarked graves. Another disturbing find at a former residential school site, this time in Saskatchewan. It's the second major find since the discovery of 215 unmarked graves at a residential school in Kamloops, B.C. There's going to be many more stories in the future, and, and this is Cowes' First Nations moment of our truth. The 751 graves found represents the largest number discovered at a residential school in Canada. The Maryville Indian Residential School is 140 kilometers east of Regina and operated between 1899 to 1997. Barry Kennedy was taken from his family when he was five and shipped to Maryville. His experience reminiscent of stories coming to light from so many other residential school survivors. This one particular keeper, he would, uh, he would take boys back to that room. Right, and the, you can hear the, uh, not long after, you can hear this, um, you know, uh, the, the, the screams and the cries for help. Following the discovery in Kamloops, Kawasis began its own search using ground-penetrating radar. That produced 751 hits over 44,000 square meters with a 10% margin of error. Kennedy hopes the discovery might provide answers about a close friend. One night they come in and they took Brian and, and it just, you know, he was my friend. During the day we played, we, we ate together, he was my, my classmate, he was... You know, someone that, uh, he, he was my friend. And he uh, just never returned. The Truth and Reconciliation Commission heard from thousands of survivors, many of whom remember witnessing murders and burials of children. It's estimated there could be as many as 6,000 dead children buried in unmarked graves across the country. I was there, I, I witnessed a, a, a a body being put in the ground, it, was, it wasn't in a coffin, it was just in a, just wrapped in cloth. The discoveries are garnering international attention and scrutiny, many calling on the Pope to apologize for the role the Catholic Church played. Kennedy wants to see justice for the victims. When the genocide of Auschwitz took place, they went all over the world looking for all them people and are still convicting them today. How come they're not doing this in Canada? What's wrong with the Criminal Code of Canada? It doesn't apply. First Nations across the country are now looking to explore other residential schools for unmarked graves. Now, Cowessis wants to bring closure for the countless families whose loved ones may be buried at Maryville. What we are going to be doing now is we are going to be putting names to these unmarked graves. We want to honour our loved ones that lay there today. Any survivors in distress can contact the Indian Residential School Crisis Line at 1-866-925-4419. In Ottawa, Nigel Newlove, City News.